Hey guys, Max Selfie Queen here, and welcome back to some more of The Sims 2. So we are back with Holly and Count, as well as little Phil here, who I believe in the last episode, if not the last episode, it was a certain episode, um, grew up from a little baby to a toddler. And I'm actually working a little bit with Phil. He's got one more day until he becomes a child. Um, so we could have another birthday in this episode as well. Um, Holly and Count haven't really been doing much with them. We've been mostly focused on Phil. Um, because I've been trying to get him... Uh, I've been trying to get him all good on his skills. Um, I don't remember what I taught him to be exact, but... I know I taught him to talk, I believe. I've been trying to teach him to talk and walk and all that stuff. Um, but honestly, I have not had the time. So I just decided to go ahead and do a little bit more after I recorded. Kind of get him up a little bit and then see what Holly and Count needed. Uh, basically, we're going to try to get him going. But we're also going to try to get our other things going here. Most importantly, our business up here. So... Holly and Count, of course, have their business, but they haven't been able to start it yet um, because Count has been more focused right now on his career. Um, he's been trying to do really well at his job so that everybody will, I mean, I guess love him for it. But, you know, I'm just trying to get, like, more promotions for him. And then I'm also trying to get Holly... Her baking career going I mean of course she wants to bake that's one thing that she wants to do I'm guessing you know she wants a lot of different things but I wanted to make it a bakery because I love this part of the Sims one of my favorite parts is the whole bakery aspect that you could actually own your own bakery and just the cooking things uh, that's my favorite part don't know why it just is it's one of my favorite things about the Sims was when they did the uh, the job thing that was actually my favorite was the jobs um, pack that came out for the game um, because it gave us a lot of opportunities to do different things that we haven't before so just like right now we can open our own business and have all kinds of different opportunities brought to us so I just thought it would be really cool if we did that and I think I love the way it's set up right now so I'm just gonna move these down and we'll just make it a little bit smaller that way we can keep up with the demand because Holly's obviously going to have to um, be doing a lot of work because she is going to be running this place. So we'll put that rug back there for her. Um, I'm guessing we're not going to be able to do what I pl originally planned, which was to have the restaurant portion of it. Because you have to um, do a bunch of stuff to make it a restaurant or whatnot. So I think I'll keep it like this for now. But in the future, I'm thinking about we might turn it back into a restaurant because it just seems like it would be better if it was. Um, because we have all these tables here and we need to use them for something. But for now, we're going to go ahead and actually open our business. I do think that they are off today. Well, at least not. She goes to work at 10 a.m. So she her carpool will be here and he goes to work as well, which is not good. So I can't open the business right now because they're going to be heading to work. So I'm going to go ahead and actually not have them go to work right now. I mean, yes, go to work, but not go to the business right now. Um, little Phil, we have to plan a birthday for it as well, because he's going to be growing up. Um, I don't actually know if we can do that yet. Holly, seriously. Clean this up and then clean off the counter. It's really nasty. I don't know if we can actually plan the party for him yet. Let's see. I don't think I can. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about throw a party, so I guess we have to wait another day for that. Which is fine. Because he will be growing up soon anyway. And I'm not too worried about it right now. Holly's got the carpool and oh, is on his way to work. So she should be good. She does need to get, take a shower though, so let's have you go upstairs and take a shower. Somebody can clean that. I think we have a maid, so the maid can come in. Um, it's just, it's very different for me playing this game now, um, because I haven't played it in a long time. Uh, so I'm not really too familiar with everything that's going on in the game right now. 
Uh, but your carpool should be here, Holly. It is. Okay, you need to get to work, young lady. And the nanny is here to take care of Phil, of course. We're trying to get him potty trained. He's so close to getting potty trained, but literally, I don't think it's going to happen because the maid, or not the maid, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the babysitter here, the nanny, whatever, she does not do what I ask, so if he goes to the bathroom, he goes in his diaper. She's not going to go ahead and do anything about it. She's not going to take him to the toilet or whatever. So obviously he's going to be crying because he's needing his diaper change. So we're not going to get very far with um, him today. Hopefully we can get that going. But I'm so close to getting him potty trained. I feel like he's not able to walk because I haven't seen him walk. I've been fast forwarding a little bit, but I have not seen him walk. And she, I love how she's just like standing there. And he's literally just over here playing in the toilet. Like, what the heck? Okay. So, let's go ahead since Count is home. Let's get Phil here. Okay, so he does know how to walk. Sorry, we don't have time to go on an outing. But I need to get Phil here. Take him upstairs and see if he needs to body trained a little bit. Should be- oh gosh, he's gotta use the bathroom so bad. Ah, oh, dang it, it's too late. Dude. Well, now what? Okay, whatever, just put him in the crib for now. And he's gonna go to sleep, of course, with a nasty old dapper. Because he went to the bathroom as soon as he went to sleep, and he's very tired right now, so we'll have to worry about that later. Uh, as soon as Holly gets off of work, though, he can start work on the business. Count is good. He's getting a little sleepy, but that'll change whenever uh, 6 o'clock rolls around, because he will be turning into, of course, a vampire. Ooh, and this guy's about ready to grow up, so... Holly, I need you to throw a birthday party for your son here. Uh, I'm gonna get all this stuff together. Because so we're gonna have a little party for Phil. Not a big party, of course. Because he is just a little toddler. Let's get the cake out. Throw the party and bring Phil to the cake. I'm gonna invite... Some friends over like last time this looks like it's gonna be another birthday party episode I really wanted to get to the um, to the business part of it but I don't know if we're actually gonna have time anymore all right let's go get Phil bring him to the cake while the guests are arriving it should be coming in now since I did unlock the door and we are bringing Phil to his cake Unfortunately, we did not get him potty trained, but you know what? He got everything else, so he's probably just going to grow up um, with a good life. They, normally, whenever you grow them from toddler to kid, um, or child, whatever, if you do the stuff with them, like, uh, if you do the, uh, the, what am I trying to say? Oh, the potty training, the teaching them to walk and talk and stuff, then they'll grow up with a good life. But if you don't teach them any of that stuff, then more than likely it'll be bad and they'll grow up with a bad life. So, yeah, not very fun there. But everybody's going to gather around little Philly here. It's time for him to blow out the candles and grow up. He's got a big bunch of people here who have really... He doesn't even know who the heck they are. But hey, that's all right. He's loving his birthday party. Alright, he gets to blow out his candles and grow up. Successful milestone accomplished once again. Alright, here he goes. Oh, he wants to shower? He's not gonna grow up? What's going on? He grow up, what the heck? They're just standing there and he's just sitting there crying and he's not growing up. 
Oh my gosh. Are you serious, Phil? Phil, are you serious? Okay, well, we're gonna try this again then. Everybody's turning into vampires. Phil doesn't want to grow up because he's all stinky. Oh, and look, he's growing up right now. Okay. Not exactly how I pictured this going, but Phil has grown into a child, and as a toddler, Phil achieved the aspiration level of Little Wonder. That's pretty good. With a little hard work, life couldn't get any better. So it's actually okay. He did good. He did all right for himself, but um, that was a little awkward. So he's gonna go take a shower because obviously, when he was a little baby, he definitely um did not have the best hygiene. <laughs> so we're gonna get him some actual kid toys now and a big kid bed and all this other stuff that he can have to play with. Um, I guess we'll just have the toy box. That's really all he needs. There's a ton of toys in there. We need to get the bed going and we need to get uh, a dresser for him as well. Just get on in the bathtub. Okay. Get him a little toddler bed. Well, not a toddler bed, a kid bed. Mmm, let's go with this one. Can we turn it blue? No. Okay, well, how about this one? Uh, we can keep it yellow, I guess. Or we can turn it blue. Could have his sheets be a yellow color. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, let's get filled this bed here and a little changing area so that he can change. I'm forgetting where everything is. Oh wait, that's here. One, okay. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. Can't get one just like that one. The bed. Eh, I don't like that one either. That is way too big. All these, like, under the sea ones are pretty cool, but honestly, I think it would be better if we just did, like, a blue and white one. I don't know. It doesn't match! It's annoying. Why can't they just all match? I'll have to just give them these clothes right here. There you go, Phil. There's your closet area. All those clothes there, just for you. And we'll give you these two. Yay, Phil! Actually, I could just give him... Can I just give him his own closet? Wouldn't that be better? Yeah. Wait, no I can't. Nope. Doesn't work out that way, buddy. Sorry. Hmm. I don't know. This matches that, so let's go with that. And let's change the bed. I mean, come on. We're gonna match, we're gonna match. I think this one might be... No, it's the under the sea bed. Although I do like the color. I think it might actually match. It does. Well, okay, whatever. Good enough. Good enough, I'll take it. Okay, Holly and Count need to open their business now, so let's have her go to the bathroom here and get her something to eat, and then we will have, well the party's still going on for another three minutes, but I feel like everybody's going to be like okay, um, because they're all playing with the bubble blower, so I think they're all going to be just fine. We're gonna go ahead and get out some leftovers so we can eat something. Guest, if you would like to come eat, you can totally come eat. There's some food over here for everyone if you would like some food. Count's gonna eat himself some food as well. He's nice and hungry. And after that, we're gonna get started. Okay, we are getting started with this thing. Um, with this business crap. This is, I've been trying to get it going forever since we moved into this house. And I have not been able to get it going. Alright, Count, you're gonna put away those leftovers and pay the bills because I had no idea those were even laying there. 
Okay, and this kid... The real question is... Can we turn you into a vampire? I mean, a werewolf. I guess not. Dang it! Well, he doesn't look like a vampire or a werewolf. He looks completely normal. So, unfortunately that didn't work out like we planned. But, no time for that. Let's just go here and... We need to open... Oh yeah, we can't because we have to create a home business. I totally forgot about that. Um, start a home business. See, I didn't even think about that. I literally thought I'd just put that in there and that'll be fine. But no, we have to start our home business. And apparently the party's a disaster. So, great. Everybody's leaving, whatever. The business is open. So we're gonna have Holly go and be the cashier. We need to set the price of the items as well. Because we didn't do that either. So everything that can be for sale, we're gonna set it. I can't believe I didn't do this already. I thought I had already did this. But I guess I didn't. Oh well. We can go ahead and sell everything the way that we want it anyway. Little robots sitting up there. Oh, two robots. Can't miss any of the robots. They're hard to see. They're so dark. Okay. So Count's Electronics and Holly's Bakery is officially open. Just uh, got to do a couple more things here because apparently those telephones can't be for sale. So we will fix that in just a minute. Might replace that with like something else. Um, I don't have anything in his inventory. That's the rule. He does. Okay. What if we put... Oh, he doesn't have any robots though. Dang. Okay. Um, what can I use to put in those spaces and fill it up? Because I do want to use something. You know what? I'm just going to put another video game console over here. And then up here... We are going to do another one of these helicopters and some more alarm clocks over here. And then that should do it. We'll have to set them for sale as well. Oh geez. Um, yeah, let's do it like that. That look, actually looks pretty nice. So let's set these for sale. Okay, we're putting everything average right now. Actually, we should probably put everything, um, not average, but you know what, whatever. Okay, all of our baked goods are for sale, and we are good to go. Time to get this party started. We'll see how sales go first. Um, if the sales end up turning out pretty good, then I think that might be what we need to do. But we have our first customer who's arrived. And is going towards... The electronics. Okay. Let's uh, basic sell this child. What he has to say. And she is looking at the bakery stuff. So that's nice. Holly, why don't you help her out? Basic sell to her. Maybe she'll want some of our baked goods. Maybe she'll take it. Like a nice baked Alaska or a gelatin. All right, she's in. She's in. Hey, Buck is the one that decided to come over here. Okay, you can't tell me that it's past his bedtime. He's the one that decided to come into our shop, and that was not my doing. Okay. Now, what the heck are you doing? I need you in here right now. What are you doing? Stop playing games. This is serious. You guys have a business to run here, okay? Oh, she did it. She went for it. Okay, Count. Let's have you basic sell this guy here. See what he thinks. Maybe he wants something. She's still looking at our bakery, so she's still getting some items. What did she actually buy? Oh, she bought a gelatin. Okay. Oh, you can buy a gelatin. Sure. 
Looks like he's going for it. I don't know where Count is. He left again. Whatever, Count. If you don't want to be in the business, then it's too much for you. Whatever. Don't be in the business, okay? Holly's here. She's being cashier. She's going to take care of everything for you. So, fine. Once again, she'll take care of it. What are all these little kids doing here is what I want to know. Like, how are you here without your parents? Speaking of kids, what the heck is our kid doing? Nothing. He's just standing there. Nice, buddy. Nice. How about you use the bathroom? And, uh, how about you clean up this empty tub? And then you can get yourself some leftovers. And... You should be good. Okay, this girl is literally... Taking forever. Come on, girl. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Oh, we got a buyer. Bought some electronic items. Ooh, she bought another one. She bought another gelatin. No, she bought a big Alaska. Okay. Well, Holly's working the cashier. She's not the best at being the cashier, but you know what? She's learning, okay? And we gotta learn somewhere. She just, she literally is really slow. <laughs> Okay, Count, what, uh, what would you like to do? Nothing? She's just standing there, so. I guess she's still trying to decide whether she wants to shop or not. Oh, she's waiting in line? Is that what she's doing? I think she's waiting in line. Ooh, whoops. Here's our first simoleon earned in this area. Going into the inventory. Holly, you cannot quit your job, girl. This girl is literally waiting here angry. She's ready to check out. You know, I put the business in Count's name, I believe, but Holly's doing more than Count even is. He's over there. Yeah, he's over there on the bubble blower. What the heck are you doing, Count? Look, there's someone here. They excel this dude. Do something. Oh, Holly. Oh, Holly. You're trying, girl. That's all that matters. You're trying. Uh... Sure. Household only. Because we don't want anybody coming into our business that shouldn't be. Um... What do we got? Someone looking to sale. Someone looking to buy. Holly, you can't leave your post, girl. You just can't. You cannot leave your post. These people are literally a wreck, okay? If you're gonna own a business, you gotta own it. And they're not owning it. I think we sold him on one thing. I want to see. Is it in Count's inventory? The dollar? Yeah. Well, we're going to put this on the wall. Damn. Oh. We got our business dollar from the last one we had. And then we got one from this one. So, we'll see. Oh, is that kid in the bed? Because he needs to be in the bed. Dude, Phil, it's like four in the morning. What are you doing? Get yourself into bed. Kid staying up all night. Great parenting here, you guys. Great parenting. But I mean, I will have to say they are doing their business. So, has to be something. Count, this customer is confused. You need to help him. Yeah, he, he doesn't know what to buy because apparently he has no idea where the stuff is. He's looking at a wall instead of doing anything else. After learning more about what makes customers tick, Count has come up with a hard sell that can pull real pressure on customers. Or turn them right off. That's worth a silver sales bag. Sure. Let's try to hard sell this guy. We didn't get off to a good start with him, so we'll see. We want him to buy our products. Uh, he's not having it. The hard sell is a bit rough. I will admit that. Oh, well, he is. Okay, and we got a star. So nice, we sold that item. Um, cool. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to have the business running until in the morning. Um, because we definitely do want to um 
keep this going as long as we can because with Holly and Count's jobs it does get kind of annoying to try to do this all at the same time so we will keep it until we turn back from uh from uh whatchamacallit we'll keep it until we turn back into ourselves from werewolves should be in about an hour now I think it's seven seven or six I know for a fact it's Listen, Olive, if you don't want any of this stuff, then I don't know what to tell you. She's not having it, really. She's not having it. Okay, well that worked. No, it didn't work. Of course it didn't. Okay, now they're turning back into normal. So, Holly, we're going to have you be the cashier. And we're going to have Count close the business. Because Olive is just standing there looking. She's obviously not going to buy anything. Just there to look so you can get out so we'll have him bring up his stuff and then she'll leave because she's not one to buy anything obviously holly i need you to really get better with the cash register though you are not doing too well with the cash register because these people are having to wait a really long time for you so get something girl is all i gotta say get something Just look at that. Look at her. She is tanking so long. Push the button. There you go. There you go, Holly. You did it, girl. Okay, so now we need to get back to the real world here. Um, because obviously, things are going to be getting a little bit more hectic. Because we're going to have to go back to work at 9 a.m. That's probably the one good thing about them being werewolves, is that they literally will do, like, they can literally do whatever they want, because at night when they're supposed to be sleeping, they won't sleep. They'll not, they don't need sleep. This is very exciting though, because Phil is going to start his first day of school as well. That's pretty exciting. Uh, you don't have to be the cash cashier, girl. You can go take a shower. Or... Time for you to go to work. It's just difficult when you have more people. Like, as soon as they grow up from um, toddler to a child, it just gets a lot more difficult. Basically. Because you have another person that you have to take care of. Which is one of the reasons why I like to do just simple sims, maybe like even one sim. So, we'll see. We'll see how this turns out, basically. I know, Holly, you need to take a shower, but the shower is broken and Count is trying to fix it the best he can. He's not the best when it comes to repairing things, but you know what? He's trying. Okay, Count's gonna head to work and Holly is going to take a shower because she needs to take a shower. Uh, Phil, little Philly, time for you to get up. You have to get to school, buddy. The school bus is here. Your first day of school. Count's off to work. Somebody? Okay, he's coming. Uh, uh, Holly, you're going to take a shower? Okay, good. Okay, well, there goes Count off to work. And little Phil is going to be heading out for his first day of school. Super exciting. First day of school as a child, that is. Finally growing up. And apparently, we can't turn him into a, a werewolf until he's like an adult. Maybe when he's a teenager we can? I'm not sure. But we'll have to see. So Holly is taking her shower right now and she's going to be heading off to work. Everybody else is all gone as well. So I think that's probably a good time as any to go ahead and wrap up today's episode here. Uh, mostly because I feel like we're kind of finished with Holly and Count and Phil right now. Like I know we need to get Phil grown up and stuff. But I think we've had quite a bit of time with these guys. I don't know, I feel like we're gonna, what we're gonna do is I think we will go ahead and grow Phil up from a child to a teenager, and then we'll see when he's a teen if he can become a werewolf or not, and if he can't, then we will send him on his way, probably either, I don't know, we'll have him move out, or we'll have him do like the, the college stuff, I'm not really too sure which way I want to go, which direction I want to go with him yet. But um, for now, 
we're gonna go ahead and end it off here guys and i will see you in the next episode of the sims 2